what it do YouTube slash Patreon slash Big Shoot. Today's video, I want to chime in with a quick impromptu video. Today's video, I want to talk about the hidden strategic play on these rappers and entertainers, i.e. Um, actors, athletes, influencers, YouTube, YouTubers, etc., etc. People with powerful voices, people with powerful influence. So, uh, so let check this out. <clears throat> so, um, of course, you already know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for a while now, it's been, you know, a lot of rappers getting blood sacrificed. And, you know, it started a long time ago, but it really, really became popular in the 90s with Biggie and Tupac. Blah, 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 whatever. Fast forward to today. Not today, but fast forward to modern times. You know, you've had a lot of rappers, a lot of athletes or, you know, um, entertainers and influencers that that were very influential, very powerful voices that um, had a tragic demise, were set up, you know, to be killed, unfortunately, or were set up to be put in prison, to be framed and shit, right? That's basically what they uh these demons try to do. And and what happens is what they're trying to do is so basically it's like this, right? Shout out Al Harrington, shout out Viola. You feel me? But Al Harrington was saying this in one of his uh interviews with Sway. Shout out Sway in the morning as well. He was saying this in one of his interviews with Sway. Him and Sway was both kind of like having a dialogue, but Sway kind of opened it up. And Sway was like, uh, you know, this is this uh cannabis uh stuff he was like do you think he was like sway was asking al harrison he was like do you think like this cannabis stuff is like the start of like reparations and stuff like that because it's creating generational wealth for people who weren't meant to have generational wealth so-called black people or whatever right and that's what's going on see a lot of these rappers and shit like yeah the game and the industry was created for a lot of people to be put in 360 deals tricked out their money finessed whatever, right, you know, put into contracts, you know, like, like, like a setup, like, like a Ponzi scheme or whatever, a setup, you know what I'm saying, and that's pretty much how the internet was, like, the internet was created for surveillance purposes and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, but then, next you know, the internet turns out to what it is now, you, you, you see what I mean, so it's like that thing, like, you create it, like, you create that Frank, you create that Frankenstein, you create that monster, and then once you create that monster, the creator can't control that monster. It's one of those things. So, um, a lot of these rappers start blowing up, start getting big deals and stuff because of the internet. And even before the internet, you know, a lot of rappers who had that real hustler mentality, you know, they were selling, like, you know, their CDs, selling t-shirts and stuff out their uh, trunk of their car, and, you know, different things of that nature. So, they were still putting their name out there and their product. And the thing is, they start actually building generational wealth for themselves, for their family. It was never meant for that. That's what the industry wasn't meant for. The industry was meant to pimp the artist. That's what the industry was for. But then when the internet came, the internet was like, was that thing where it's like, fuck the industry. You don't need the industry. You can put this shit out yourself. And now you're like a virtual walking record label. Essentially, you see what I'm saying? And what happened is that opened up a lot of doors for a lot of athletes to get their talent seen, a lot of influencers to get their talent seen. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, people on Vine, people on TikTok, you know what I'm saying? Like all that stuff, you know, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all that stuff, you know, Snapchat, you know, all those different things, you know, to get their talent seen. And that opened up gateways for people, a lot of minorities, who was never meant to get generational wealth who was never meant to make it out right once they start making it out they start making all this money they start taking their friends with them they start putting other people on so it's like a wildfire to the elite like we got to stop this so a lot of these rappers are dying and being blood sacrificed because that's another way 
for the labels to get the money back from these artists. See, that's the... the, the I can't even talk. That shit funny. That's the strategic play that's on a lot of these guys. You see what I mean? And shout out to the Tube Don. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Tube Don. You know, King Rob, you know, he break this shit down too. He go in more in depth, you know, his own style of things. You know what I mean? But he most definitely um, go in depth about that shit too. You feel me? But, uh, but yeah, man, like, this is a strategic play on these guys. Like, it's basically like a, a build to kill. They build you up just to set you up in the end to get all the money back. And to make more money off your death. To make movies. And all, you know, all that shit like that. And that's really what it is. And that's why a lot of these record labels, they get um, life insurance policies mm -hmm. on these rappers and shit like that. So if something happens to them, something happens to them, right? You know what I mean? Or they ain't set up at their label, right? You know what I mean? They can get all that money back. Whether the artist paid back the advance money or whether the artist was still in debt to them, the rapper is going to be worth more dead than alive anyway. So that's really the strategic play. Because a lot of these people that's in the industry now, of course, minorities, you know, and not just black people. It's like they attacking all different artists. You see, they sacrifice Lil Peep. You know, they coming at the Lil Xan and Lil Xan Mexican, I think. You know what I mean? He's headed. He said, yeah, he's a, basically, he's a rich slave. You know what I mean? You can go look up um, Lil Xan uh, speaking out on YouTube if they haven't taken the videos down or whatever. But, man, come on, bro. They've been, come on, man, this is the same play. they building these people just to kill them, just to get that money back and then some. Because a lot of these people, you ain't supposed to have generational wealth. You ain't supposed to get this far. You know what I mean? So it's like, it, it, it's, it's some crazy shit, but I'm telling you, it's going to be more blood sacrifices. It's going to be more tragedies because the devil, the time is up. His rule is over with, but he's trying to keep his fangs, his claws, his hands, and his minions, and every little thing and shit like that before the truth officially gets out the, you know, worldwide. Because a lot of people in the masses, they might be a little bit dumbed down and shit because their vibration got a little bit lowered from elf waves, extremely low frequencies and shit like that. TV, you know, music, all the low vibrational foods and all that shit. But at the end of the day, motherfuckers ain't as stupid as you think they is. You see what I mean? So, if if a lot of motherfuckers really heard a lot of this stuff and this truth and shit really spread out into like the masses, a lot of people wake up. But a lot of people, you know, everybody got free will. But a lot of people would still decide to say ignorance is bliss and stay in their perpetual state of ignorance, which is totally fine. That's totally fine. But you know what I mean. Many are called, but only few are chosen. You know what I'm saying. Excuse me. <clears throat> Wake the damn up. More videos coming soon. Telling you to more sacrifices. More crazy shit. You know, thousand years been up. 2019. What we in 2022? So you see what I mean? Real shit. Real shit. Yeah. Things gonna get very, very interesting. Mark my words. You're gonna see. And no, I'm not God and nothing like that. I'm a co-creator, just like you. Or am I just a figment of your imagination? The world may never know. And I bid you while I